against us. I'm not with you, neither am I against you. Can he do that? He's religious, I believe it's required. I'm sorry my opponent didn't think enough of you to show up for this debate. I'm sure he had more important things to do. <laughs> sorry I'm late, everyone. Somebody tampered with my brakes. <gasps> well, then you should have been early. Hey, <laughs> got you there, eh? Oh, come on, people. This man has promised round-the-clock trash pickup. That's impossible. Not if we hire more men. And my men will do all your messy jobs. They'll wash your car, scrub your shower, air out your stinkables. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Well, then you better turn up your hearing aid, Pops. Pops? I'm only two years older than you. Do we want old man Patterson here with his finger on the button? What button? What the hell are you talking about? What, 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 what button? Where am I? Who took my false teeth? <laughs> I'm just saying that you can't be sure that it wasn't you. That's ridiculous. Of course it wasn't me. Marijuana is a memory loss drug, so maybe you just don't remember. I would remember. Well, how could you if it just erased your memory? That's not how it works. Now, how do you know how it works? Knock it off, okay? I'm interviewing you. No, you said that I'd be conducting the interview when I walked in here. Now, exactly how much pot did you smoke? I think the most disappointing cake has to be fruit cake, you know? You'd think that would be better. It doesn't add up. Fruit, good. Cake, great. Fruit cake, nasty crap. And finally, I'd like to say that reading totally sucks ass. Hooray! Yes, at first I was happy to be learning how to read. It seemed exciting and magical. But then I read this. Atlas Shrugged by Ayn Rand. I read every last word of this garbage, and because of this piece of sh I'm never reading again. Hooray for Barbie! Let me get this straight. You took all the money you made franchising your name and bet it against the Harlem Globetrotters? Uh, I thought the generals were due! Alright, take a whiff. Make sure you like it, because that's what our couch is going to smell like. Hey, hi. Yes, we're going to take this one. Oh, I'm going to need you to slow down a bit. There's a process we need to go through to see if you're a suitable cat guardian. Oh, really? Because I thought the process was I say we'll take this one, and then you say thank God because we have too many cats. No, we need to ensure these cats are going to good homes. That's why we need you to fill out this form, and then there'll be a site visit. Okay, um, we've just been through a very frustrating year trying to adopt a baby, so... You'll forgive us if we're not really in the mood to jump through too many hoops for a cat. You've heard what Joshua's dad's been saying in the news about him, right? He's had mental issues in the past. We all have our crosses to bear. Then how can you be so sure that his visions are legit? You're the scientist. Go prove they aren't. You've got the vacation coming. We've got the money. It's settled. We're going to Denmark, and Grandpa will get fixed. Well, Homer, looks like Marge is the boss in your house. Well, I say we don't go. But we need to go. I'm desperate. Fine, we'll go. <laughs> that woman's got you right under her thumb. My point is, as long as she's doing this writing nonsense, you're on your own to pay the bills. You know, at some point, you're gonna have to give Molly a deadline. You know, if she doesn't make any money at being a writer, then she, you gotta go get a real job. I guess a deadline couldn't hurt. Really? Are you that stupid? <laughs> what? You're gonna take advice from a guy who moved out of his grandma's house at 37 years old? <laughs> hey, 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 that woman's got a spa tub. That's not something you just walk away from. Hey. Uh. Well, you, you don't look good, Joe. Well, the fridge broke, so I had to eat everything. Cold cuts, ice cream, limes. And, hey, what was in that brown jar? That's still in there? Not anymore. <clears throat> so anyway, how do you want to pay me? 
Is this a service you're providing me? No, 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 for my new fridge, for our new fridge. Our new fridge? I don't live here anymore. So what? Look, okay, suppose we were a uh, divorced couple. Uh-huh. And I got custody of the kid, right? Now suppose the kid dies and, and I gotta buy a new kid. Okay. Confess. My son. Let me speak to him. Confess. I, I didn't really Solo mean to be angry to you. Me llevar por la Only emotional for me. Yeah. What about hypocritical? Hypocrite. Yes, you heard me. It's not like you didn't do the this same thing. Mismo. No. Yes, you did. So why don't you go lecture yourself? You won't need a translator for that one. And then what am I lately? A recycling bin? Anybody dumping your garbage? Hope I make something useful out of it? Hipocresia, no. Yes, yes, you did the same thing. You think I don't know about you altering those outfits for Bernie? She tells me her stuff. So am I missing something? Is there really a difference between that and what you're complaining about? Excuse me. Oh, hello, friends. I'm Montgomery Burns, your next governor. And I'm here to talk to you about my little friend here, Blinky. <laughs> Many of you consider him to be a hideous genetic mutation. Well, <laughs> nothing could be further from the truth. But don't take my word for it. Let's ask an actor portraying Charles Darwin what he thinks. Hello, Mr. Burns. Oh, hello, Charles. Uh, be a good fellow and tell our viewers about your theory of natural selection. Glad to, Mr. Burns. You see... Every so often, Mother Nature changes her animals, giving them bigger teeth, sharper claws, longer legs, or, in this case, a third eye. And if these variations turn out to be an improvement, the new animals thrive and multiply and spread across the face of the Earth. So you're saying this fish might have an advantage over other fish. It may, in fact, be a kind of super fish. I wouldn't mind having a third eye, would you? <laughs> no. What are you doing, Beavis? Um, have we met, sir? It's me, you bunghole. Um, what's a bunghole? You're a bunghole, bunghole. Hey, Cro-Magnon, you can't use a word to define itself. Yeah, <clears throat> Cro-Magnon. <clears throat> I can too, bunghole. Maybe a story will cheer you up. It's called The Ugly Barnacle. Once there was an ugly barnacle. He was so ugly that everyone died. The end. That didn't help at all. If you're not with me, then you're my enemy. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. What do you reckon we should do with him? I say we take the sword and neuter him right here. Give him the Bob Barker treatment. Oh, Mother no, but for more. Please, I implore you. It was nothing personal, senor. I was doing it only for my family. My mother, she's sick, and my father lives off their garbage. The king offered me. Imagine going and I have a litter of brothers. And... Whoa, 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 whoa. Fiona's father paid you to do this? The rich king? Si. Whoa! We're on the move. Stop, Ogger. I have misjudged you. Join the club. We've got jackets. On my honor. I am obliged to accompany you until you have saved your life, but you have spared me mine. I'm sorry. The position of annoying talking animal has already been taken. Let's go, Shrek. Shrek? <laughs>